Hi, my name is Rachel Turner, and I wanted to talk to you about being a church who supports the parents of local young people. Often that is a group of people who get missed out. They, you know, they they have children and they're used to getting a lot of support as a parent for having children. And then their kids become youth and they sort of personally can feel like they're losing their kids. Their kids are becoming teenagers and they're becoming more and more distant and independent and they're off. And all of a sudden their role as a parent feels unseen and unappreciated by their kids and by everybody. And they feel sort of at a loss. And this is an amazing opportunity we have as a church to become a champion of teenage parents, um, of local schools, of our community, of our church families, to be known to say we believe that parents of teenagers are vital to the development of their kids, are important in the emotional, spiritual, physical health of their children, and we are here to support you and champion you on as you continue to parent because you never stop parenting and it's never too late to parent. And uh, we want to be there for you to, to be a church that says we believe in you. And so there's a few ways that you can begin to build those relationships, to connect the, the support that surrounds a child and to support a, a parent in their role as a church. Um, one of the things that um, I've been involved in doing is, is empowering our youth ministry to become a sort of voice of encouragement to parents. And so, uh, for instance, one church I was at, our youth ministry began to run evenings that just said, you know, hey, parents, come talk about it. We're going to have some people who are experienced in this. We're going to have some experts who are good at it. We're going to bring in some families who now have children in their 20s, and they're going to come share about how to talk about sex with your kids and how to set boundaries or not set boundaries or start those conversations. And we're just going to talk all about what this looks like now and how to give you skills and make you feel more confident in how to deal with this as your kid begins to talk about it and experience pressure around them. Uh, we did other evenings that was talking about drugs. We had other times where we were talking about peer pressure and the intense pressure that they're under or talking them through all the social media out there and how you begin to make it feel safe to become a church that says these are issues in the lives of teenagers and we are here to help that you feel confident in it and so let's do this let's talk and you can surround those those situations with parents who are who are christians you can sur surround it with experts that are aren't christians but you can say we believe in you for that another idea that that you can do uh is uh, as a youth ministry we are tied into the culture of what's happening in schools and the culture of what's happening in youth and parents often aren't I knew one youth ministry who would release uh, monthly videos slash uh, emails, depending on what the parents wanted, that were just like, hey, stuff in youth culture that you need to be aware of now. Here's a new television program that's coming out that they may be talking about. Here's a new app, and this is what it does, and they'll show it to them on the video. And this sort of sense of, of, of helping parents just know what's happening in youth culture so that they don't feel that they have no idea what, what the pressures are surrounding their kids. And all of these things then begin to tie into the local schools and you could say to the local schools we're here to support that we're doing this here you know bring your parents here is there anything that you want to do with your parents that we could take up the burden for you and we found that schools were saying yeah we'd love to do that we just don't have the time space mental ability to do that and as a church you could say oh we do we'd love to run a basic parenting teenagers course or whatever you think um, the parents that you're serving need and this this coming alongside and partnering rather than hey schools you should be doing more or let me come into your school and do the stuff that we want to do coming alongside parents and saying like, schools and saying what is the need that you see and how can we help us fill that for you is really significant uh, another thing that we found really helpful in building that tie is to show up and sort of become servants of the local church when it comes to parent events. So if they're running a family event, a parent event, you know, one at a time where they gather to show up and serve coffee and tea and biscuits and bring cake and sweep up afterwards and be there to be in the realm of the school, to serve the school and to serve parents so that they get used to seeing you and get used to talking to you and get used to knowing that you just want them to know that they're doing a great job and you support them. And so how can you it's so worth just thinking about how can we become that bridge for parents of teenagers because they need that and I think God loves them and is desperate for their kids to be now God and if we could be a church that that declares that parents are powerful then um, we become a place that I think expresses the heart of God for children.